One Extra. BBC Radio One Extra. It's Bruce Parkinson here. There are two things in life which are undeniable. The first, plantain, is pronounced plantain, not plantain. The second thing is one of the realest rappers in the UK sitting opposite me right now, Morrison. Come on. Come on, Jam. Let's go, bro. Yeah. So how did you get involved in it then? Because I was chatting to DJ Limelight, mm. and now this might be true. Limelight says... Mm. You went round his um, studio first and recorded some stuff, yeah, and it yeah. weren't even like that serious. You was like, "I'm just gonna try this yeah. music thing." And yeah. Was was that the case? I like, started with Limelight. Yeah. So that? the first, my first rap um, song I made was in uh, yeah Limelight's house in his bedroom. Yeah. So, but musically, I've been doing music for years, like since, uh, since I was young. Now, basically, how it started was um, like we had decks in my house, and my older brother. Joey used to um, do the DJing, and I wanted in on the DJ. He said, "Nah, you're gonna have to do some like some MCing because like, he, he kind of he wanted to be in control of the decks. And yeah, that, that, yeah. Was, that was the <laughs> that was the fun part. So um, so obviously I had to do the MCing. So what I, I used to do it was I used to um, listen to other people doing their lyrics and take their lyrics and just do it on the mic. So I'll listen to like old school MCs and and I'll copy their lyrics and just MC with their lyrics, and then I started writing my own lyrics. Oh, sick. That's and how it started. And yeah. then how did it get to the point where, you know, this is one of the most iconic mixtapes, in my opinion, in the UK, mm. the best of Morrison. Yeah. How did that, like, get together? Because there was a that was in them times where you'd get, like, yeah. 50 tracks and bang on a mixtape, yeah. 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 How, how was that process coming together with that? So, yeah. Um, so, as I said, I was doing it as, a, as, as when I was young, writing and whatever, and um, didn't take it serious. Then as I started getting older and um, a lot of things was going on, a lot of people would be asking a lot of questions as what's going on on the roads and whatever. So I thought, you know what? The way of letting people know is me telling myself what's been going on. So I started writing and then putting rap, taking it a bit more serious. And then uh, it was Ruthless Records days. That was it. That's what I was trying to think of. Ruthless yeah. Records. Um, he was like, right, jump on the music thing properly. And that's when I went to DJ Limelight's and done my recording my first rap track, that uh, rap song. And was yeah. that the first one that you're in? Uh, there's a YouTube video. You in the shop? Yeah. Is that yeah, the record yeah, store? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. That's banging, and even like bringing that um, mixtape together. Yeah. Some big names on that tape. Like yeah. even. So how did you and Gigs get together and, and make a record? That was um, Ruthless Records, I think. It was kind of, you had contact with both of us. And um, yeah, you just, they just made it happen. So um, is there anyone in the UK that y you rate at the moment, though, that you'd want to do music with? Because you don't really do like collabs with people. Mm. I know um, one of the Section Boys, Sleeks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's in yeah. the video as well. Yeah. But is there anyone else in the, in the UK? Yeah, I've done so something with Sleeks. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's coming out. Project, yeah, oh, that's banging, project. banging. Yeah, so that's been done. Is it hard for you to to listen to some tracks sometimes? And you said this in your bars as well, like because you're you're very real when it comes to what you talk about. It's believable; it's coming from you. But some people, it's not the case. Mm. Is it quite hard for you to listen to some of these guys? And you're like, ah, they're not like I don't know. Not no, because well, I know I know a lot of um. See, in England's small, the world's small, but England's small, and a lot of people know each know each other, and a lot of people know certain people's backgrounds. And if you're lying in England, you, you're gonna get found out quick you know what I'm saying so anyone that is, is, is being real in England and, and saying certain things is, there's a confirmation will come with that real quick and if you're lying it will, it will get out real quick that you're lying as well is that definitely do you think that's a London thing as well because it yeah, is think, so small like you said England's everywhere. London's yeah, even smaller time, yeah. Like, yeah I think that's anywhere like London anywhere I think if you're lying you're going to get exposed mm. real quick it's not America. We don't not we ain't got one city there and another state is a million miles away. Like this is England's tiny man. And we everyone knows everyone. Everyone knows someone around someone. So yeah. But you've got to try and not focus on all that shit. Like with music, you gotta kinda I've I've learned you can't you can't just be about real reputations on the road and whatever. You gotta kind of put that aside sometimes and just if they're talented and they're good rappers and they're good artists, then that's the main thing. 
Well, that's the thing about you as well, because mm. you'll see it all the time, and myself included. I'm one of these people. All we want to do is hear more music from you. Yeah. And you'll come out two years and we'll get a Morrison banger. And then yeah. another two years goes on, we're like, mm -hmm. Morrison banger time, yeah. yeah. So explain that, like you not being able to come in and, and be real consistent yeah. with the music. Well, what, what, what happens, what I, what I do on the road to pay my bills and whatever, it isn't music. Music doesn't pay my bills up until now. Up until now. Yeah. <laughs> until then, I have to do what I have to do to pay my bills. Yeah. And... um. I'm not in no rush to do music because it don't it don't pay my bills. So, but I would say, as I said to you just before, like a little minute ago, I said, look, I've done a lot of music considering I ain't been paid for it. I know my work rate don't look good, like one every now and then or one every six months or two a year. It, it, it ain't good. It ain't a good work rate and the consistency ain't there. I know that, but it don't pay my bills. So I ain't in no rush to release no more music. And like we were saying, you get in now on streaming services and yeah. stuff like that. Like, feels like, do you reckon, mm. now you're, you're taking it as in, like, yeah. this, is, this music career is happening Take, We're now. taking it more serious now. And we're focused. And as I just said as well, I've got a good team around me. And um, push it. Push it. Do it properly this time. It'll be weird seeing Morrison on the label, though. Yeah. Do you know, if that happens, yeah. It feels weird being in a building like this, bro. Yeah, really? You know, it's, really? This is all new to me, you know? Or this is your first ever yeah, interview, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, this is all these mics and cameras and lights. God. It's a different kind of feeling. Do you reckon you'd want to get used to it? Yeah. Yeah? It's a lot easier than what, what I do elsewhere. Yeah. Know? So I can get used to this lifestyle. That's a hard, it's a hard change at the same time, though. Yeah, of course. I remember, I remember Nines talked about it in one of the records, right? Either be Jay-Z or Pablo, he says. Mm. And it's like, it's hard to decide what... No, it's, to go not, it's not hard, bro. It's an easy decision to make. Like, who wants to be out there doing all that madness? No one does. And if someone says they do, they're lying. This is a lot easier. If you can just write and make music for a living, it's a lot easier than, than doing the madness out there. It's a, it's a bigger reward for it. Doing this, it's your safety and your life. And there's a lot of ups. There's more ups in this than the other thing. Yeah. Mm. And I guess, like, in a, in a weird way as well, you having to go through a lot of that. Yeah is what, why we listen to your music. Yeah. Like, it allows you to create the stories that you create and the lyrics yeah. that you create, yeah. So it's a weird kind of way to, mm. not thankful for that time, I'm sure, but like, to be able to go through what you've got, yeah. done has allowed you to make these records yeah. that we can proper feel it, yeah. Hopefully it pays off. And mm. with the switch now to, to GRM Daily as well, uploading yeah. on, I feel like that, with the Shots track, which you mm. made, has, has kind of got you like even bigger now. My ex and some friends weren't moving correct, so I cut them off. A lot of you don't like me, and I don't like you, so that's no love lost. It's using, get used out here, and me, I get used because I'm useful. You get used less because you're useless. It's an ugly game, it's beautiful. Boy, if you ain't got no dough, then pick up your phone and do some shots. Yeah. Um, you know, you've always been so loyal to SBTV, and you and yeah. Jamal, it felt like, was he yeah. the first person to really put you on a platform like that? From way back. That was like the one that, that, that video that was shot in the Ruthless Record shot was. SBTV. It was SBTV, you know. I was one of the first artists on there to do numbers kind of thing, like really, it was a big thing at the time, Not because at the time it was the first time people see that I was wet. So it was the first time people heard my music, but they didn't know I was wet. And then Jamal brought that camera up, I'd done that freestyle, and then bang, wow, it's a big thing. This, this geezer's wet, this Morrison geezer's wet. Wow. Like it's a weird thing, though, because it's kind of yeah. like an old Eminem thing where they don't, mm. for some reason... I don't know why in 2019 this is still the same, but they don't expect like a white rapper yeah. to to be talking what he's talking about yeah. and be good at what he's talking about. Yeah. And you say that on records as well. You, is it a weird thing you've had to go through? Like when you yeah. upload a video, you're like, oh, here we go, the first. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's something that's been with me all my life. Like I've been, in, I've grew up in a black community where most people are black or, you know, other, other race. And um, me being like that, that white guy that's with it, like in inner ends and whatever, at these community clubs of everyone, it has been a thing. I was, I could say, I oh, ain't nothing. Like, we all, it's normal. But it, it has been something. I was that white geezer of everyone, like, the, the odd white geezer of everyone. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it has been something through my life. But it, it's all good. But even that, like one of the hardest bars, um, free white guys, and we still get labelled at IC3. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, classic, that, bro. I rated that bar myself. Is it? Yeah, yeah. I rated that bar myself. <laughs> <laughs> the good bar there. Yeah. That was some good level of writing. Is it one of them you go, yeah, that's going to be that's perfect. When I thought of it, I thought, yeah. 
Perfect. Sick. It's a nice line. So with shots as well, like mm. you and um, who produced shots? Uh, M1 on the beat. M1, which yeah. a lot of people weren't expecting. No. So how did that come about? Through, um, well, we was in a studio together. Uh, well, I, was, well, I went to the studio and um, yeah, a few people in the studio, whatever, it's quite crowded in there. And uh, he was, M1 was in there and I got introduced to him by uh, Luke and Gav. Um, and they said, yeah, you should work with each other and um, make something. And we just literally done it there and then and it was a, like, the studio oh, went mad. Oh, did it in one? Yeah, there and then the studio went mad. They said, yeah, this is the one. So I said, cool. So I, I was a little bit thinking about the whole drill thing. Uh, That's what I was thinking, but I yeah. Thought, but true, I don't listen to um, loads of music, like UK music all the time. It's not something, it's, it's not something I focused on. I didn't think, wow, this could, be a, this could be a bad thing. It looked like I'm jumping on the next man's wave kind of thing. I could, I, but I didn't think of all that. I literally, he was in the studio, he put the beat on and I liked it. And I, I put my verses down on it. I didn't think of anything else. I, ain't, I don't care what anyone thinks, you know what I mean? But, and it worked. I if I like the instrumental, I'm not going to jump on it because I think some like, they're going to be a bit funny. No, forget it. Or if I like that instrumental, I'll put them, I'll do it. And well, it the thing is, you didn't, you didn't change who you are as well. Mm, yeah. You could still, even if we didn't see the video, you still know it's you. Yeah. You're not changing up your flow and yeah, yeah, yeah. going into some dual flow that's yeah, yeah, not yeah, you, yeah. do you know what I mean? It mm. still stayed the same. Yeah, yeah, come on. I think there was that studio footage actually of when you guys in the studio with shots. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, everyone just got nuts yeah, in there. Everyone, yeah. uh, from then I thought, yeah. You need that kind of environment just to know if you've made something that people can relate to and people are feeling, genuinely feeling. Like your, your pals are always going to say, yeah, man, that's, that's hard. That what you just done is hard. But when, you're, when you've got a different, like, a different variety of people in the studio, people that don't know me and whatever, it's a good thing. It's, it's good, good to see their reaction. Well, now yeah. everyone, from that, everyone's saying they want to see you and RV. RV. Get in the studio, yeah. Is that what it yeah, yeah. A lot okay. of people does a lot of heady one stuff. I guess okay. like because the drill beat, they want to see you more in drill. Would you, would you do that, or again, just whatever instrumental like bangs for you, bangs? Yeah, I just whatever instrumental bang. Yeah, if it's something that I like, and I think I can deliver something on it. Yeah, why not? Like, it's all about the yeah, if I feel it, if I feel the beat. Well, you've always had good beat choice, yeah. Though, even to like the the behind bars, yeah. I'm a big G-Unit fan, so yeah. I grew up on G-Unit. When I heard the Banks Same instrumental, Same I was like, oh, okay. Yo, yo, even after all the struggling, I'm still a rat, yeah. And after all the beefing, I'm still alive, still here, still in Newham. In the day, in the night, still one that gangster shit. Still one of the realest white boys in the city. Man, I've been through a lot. Love, I used to love that instrumental. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't know what it was. See, when I done my thing on it, on, yeah. in Link Up t on Link Up TV Behind Bars, no one knew the instrumental. They thought it was it was my instrumental. That is, it was so old school the instrumental. But yeah, and because it was on Banks, you got to know Banks mm. to like kind of yeah. They didn't know. Get that. They yeah, did, they, they, didn't, know. they didn't know yeah. where it came from. They didn't know Banks. They didn't know that like, it was like right. That instrument was hard. But that's one of them instrumentals that stuck with me from young. Yeah. And when sick. it when it was time when the spotlight was on me as a as a musician, I thought yeah, it'd be nice to be able to bring that beat back. You know what I'm saying? Well, you killed it, though. Can't. Killed it. One of my favourite freestyles. Really? Yeah. What would you say your favourite track that you've made is as well? Um, Crowbar in the Bag means a lot to me. Is it? Um, but I would say, yeah, Shots and Buckingham Palace. Yeah. Because I, I put more effort into my lyrical content in them two tracks. Rather than just talk about the roads and whatever. Mm. I kind of like made an effort, a serious effort with being lyrical as well. Now shut up. Stop with the rumours and gossip the rumors and gossip. I promise things will get richer and richer And I'll pull through with them promises I'm shining, shining. got my brothers either side of me either side of All me. three of us are white but we've still been labelled the icy free Labelled the icy free All this pain and stress that I go through Only God knows how I manage, how I, manage. I live my life on the edge and I open I fall like the tower in Paris And you can see in the videos too Like the, the video production was like Whoa, it's, it's yeah. next level Do you know yeah, what so I mean? Cam Cordings on um, Buckingham Palace Then... Um, Mal Suave on the shots. Yeah, See. both both serious levels, man. Yeah, it felt both like talented it. cameramen. And on shots as well. Yeah, Mal Suave, um, yeah, yeah, both seriously talented cameramen, yeah. You know, going forward, I mean, you know I'm just going to say I want to hear new music from you, yeah. do you know what I mean? But yeah. um, have you got something in plan? Of course. Like, I know you've got the yeah. right team around you. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, What's going to happen from, from now, you reckon? Um, well, we're, we're planning the next video already, like, so we're literally getting it all in place. 
getting ready to shoot again. It's going to be called going. Sick. Sick. I can probably, <laughs> you can probably, just from the name, what I'm going to be talking about. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> there is a lot of go-hangers out there. You think? There is a lot of go-hangers out there. I mean, they want to jump on and they don't want to do their bit, but they're out their way at the end. And when you finally get there, yeah, take take credit for what's going on and quickly take that goal. Well, you rap Not about that like quite a lot because even yeah. in the, the GRM freestyle, yeah, you can only count. What's the bike? You can only count five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. all on one hand basically, yeah, like yeah, your yeah. boys. Yeah, yeah. But is does that come from the environment you've come from? A lot of paranoia around it, and yeah, not no, many people we can trust. It's it's same 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 stuff everywhere, but Newham, it's a very snaky place, mate. Like, it's a horrible place, and there's a lot of it going on. It happens everywhere. I'm not saying it's just Newham, but what I see in in Newham, if there's other places worse than that, then boy, I can't imagine what's going on down there. But you see Newham, it's a horrible place. There ain't no, there ain't much loyalty around Newham. It's dog eat dog, literally. It's dog eat dog right now. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Mm. And you, and that's why this music thing is gonna get you away from all that environment. Hopefully, bro. Yeah. We'll, well, give, it, we'll give it a try. Yeah. If it works, it works. If it don't, <laughs> bro. I don't doubt at all that yeah. you won't. I don't doubt at all. So can we say there's an album or yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. No, we're working out, on yeah. that. No, yeah, we're working on um, the EP now. We're um, in the studio getting in different producers and that. And um, yeah, we're literally focusing on that now. Get that done, get a little project together and bring that out. Because I've never actually done my own solo mixtape or, or look, mixtape, I'll call it mixtape. I'm, I'm old school. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done my own project. Yeah. Like I've done a, a, a mixtape with someone else and I've done the best of Morris. We had the best of Morris and it was just a few tracks that was chucked together because at the time, obviously, um, I was recording and I ended up in jail. So... I didn't get to ever release them. So whilst I was in jail, they'd have chucked a load of tracks together and put Best of Morrison. Oh, that's how it came about. Yeah, it was okay. never it was never released. Like it weren't an actual it was project. A thing. It weren't a project. No. It was a load of tracks that was in the studio that got chucked on one and just put out Best of Morrison. But it never was a project. So I've never actually done a project before. Like my own solo project. So I need to get that done. I've been doing music for how long? I ain't even done it yet. Yeah. So, the buzz and everything uh, and what's going on right now you'd have thought I've dropped five mixtapes so that's five well, I ain't done one mixtape that's so, the funny mm. thing with you everything that uh, a record label would tell an artist to do mm. you haven't done yeah. like and the first thing of that is be consistent drop the videos da, 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 have yeah. some big marketing plans and stuff yeah. you've just gone I'm putting records out and the people but the people have spoken like mm. you've proved like if you're good yeah you're, you're here to stay and, and you'll blow and you have yeah. do you know what I mean still in that old school mind state Literally, how we used to do it back day, literally just drop a, a video. Whatever happens, happens. It's not, we don't take it too serious. And I ain't been taking it too serious. It's only now that I've got proper people around me that are saying, yo, you got to change your game plan and do it properly. You know, so. And it starts from here. Yeah, it starts from here, man. Morrison, bro. Thank you so much for your time, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate your support as well, bro. No worries, bro. You've been Anytime. supporting me, man. Come on. One extra. Thanks for checking out this video. You can find more by clicking the links on screen now.